drive for corporate scandal. The shock of the soul with pistol grip handles. Brokers trade inside information. That predicts double digit inflation. Smile and wear a happy face. It could be worse. Have a nice day. Terrorists, hardwire fear. We were always told it'll never happen here. Kids killing kids for a little patch of sand. This big blue sewer is getting out of hand. TV reality and white trash chic. Eight ball prediction, outlook bleak. Smile and wear a happy face. It could be worse. Have a nice day. Mutation, segregation, fornication, fallen nation Door shut, shortcut, guess what? We're fucked! We're fucked! We're fucked! President steals unfair election Teenagers taught to hate their own reflection Advertise the pimp shit nobody needs The American dream to all the workers who have been displaced And all the families who have been disgraced Smile and wear a happy face We're going to hell Have a nice day was a subway rider's nightmare come to life. A deadly poison gas released in a Tokyo subway. The unknowing and confused victims numbered in the thousands with seemingly no way out. Tokyo! Gas attack! Tokyo! Gas attack! Tokyo! Gas attack! Tokyo! Gas attack!
get a whole bunch of computer cards and data control. You do the whole read out data control. Perforate a feed out data control. Data control. Data control. Data control.
reached the hotline of Doom for news and information on the coming apocalypse. A service of the organization Doom, the Society for Secular Armageddonism, a non-religious group dedicated to promoting public awareness of the coming end of the world. Our current focus is global militarism. As the Persian Gulf heats up, the planet plays host to yet another demonstration of the complete incompetence of our species. One more in a terrifying series of idiotic blunders. No surprise, of course, just business as usual. Since World War II, 150 wars have killed nearly 20 million people. Each year, the world spends $900 billion on the military, more than is spent on either health or education. In the 1980s, the U.S. alone spent the obscene amount of $2 trillion, with more than a quarter of U.S. federal taxes going to the military. 13 countries have now or are developing nuclear weapons, and 20 countries have now or are developing chemical weapons. It's obvious our obsession with the military isn't lessening, it's increasing. The destructive power of modern weaponry has changed everything, yet we blindly continue on, our obsolete attitudes propelling us rapidly toward the apocalypse. And now the Persian Gulf, where we face the prospect of thousands dying, chemical weapons use, and even more destabilized Middle East, and disaster in the world economy. Something wrong with this picture, maybe? Yet the crisis builds and we all watch as if it were some great apocalyptic spectator sport. Well, it's the real world and a perfect example of military brinkmanship. And now is the time to act. If you believe this crisis should be solved through negotiation, through non-military, multinational, diplomatic means, then make yourself heard. Act now to cool down the Middle East. Act now to resist rampant militarism. <laughs> There is a national coalition of groups opposed to escalating this war. For information on future actions in New York, call 212-254-2295. In Atlanta, 404-688-7422. In San Francisco, 415-821-6545. Support these groups, join them in their demonstrations, and do something to help delay our inexorable slide toward Armageddon. for secular Armageddonism holds two basic beliefs. Many global threats are rushing us toward the apocalypse, and emergency action is needed now to delay the inevitable. In short, it's totally hopeless, don't give up. It's totally hopeless, don't give up. It's totally hopeless, don't give up. It's totally hopeless, give up. It's totally hopeless, give up. Give up. Give up. It's totally hopeless, give up. Give up. Give up. Give up. Give up. Give up.